Did you know that heavy metals can bioaccumulate in your body, meaning that they accumulate over time if our detox mechanisms are not maximized? This is a very powerful chelator. And chelation means to, like, it comes from the word claw, which combines or binds with uh, toxic metals. Consuming EDTA can also have a downside. It can lower your blood pressure, it anticoagulates your blood sugar, it anticoagulates you to a certain extent. Did you know that heavy metals can bioaccumulate in your body, meaning that they accumulate over time if our detox mechanisms are not maximized? So here are my three tips to increase that heavy metal detox and that detoxification route. Okay, number one is to increase your melanin in your skin. That means, yes, getting a tan. Melanin and the darker that your skin gets is going to help to detoxify those heavy metals. Number two, magnesium is also a heavy metal chelator. So making sure you're optimizing your magnesium levels is really important. Most people do need to supplement. Always look for magnesium bisglycinate, my favorite type to take. And number three is blue-green algae. So things like chlorella help to trap those heavy metal toxins and as part of that full body detox. EDTA, this is a very powerful chelator. And chelation means to, like it comes from the word claw, which combines or binds with uh, toxic metals. So it's really good to detoxify mercury, lead, iron, aluminum, calcium, and other minerals. So people take it to get rid of the calcium placking in the arteries, also to get rid of kidney stones. You want to take it on an empty stomach because if you take it with food, it'll bind with the minerals in the food, right? We don't want to do that. It's a powerful antioxidant because if you have these metals like iron or lead or mercury in your body, they're very oxidative and they kind of really create a lot of free radical damage. Uh, it supports the cardiovascular system and it's a great detox. So a lot of people take it to just increase your, their blood flow, whether it's a, a venous insufficiency or an artery problem, something like intermittent claudication, which is a, a problem where you were to have like pain in your legs upon exertion, um, improves vision, increases blood flow to the brain, uh, general circulation. When I take it, I find I don't need naps. Okay, it's quite interesting. Like I always like to take a nap a day and I don't need any nap because it just gives you a lot of energy. Okay, so you also wanna just drink a little bit more water when you do this and take trace minerals and other minerals to compensate for any loss of minerals that occur when you take it. Uh, but the cool thing is you're taking out the bad ones and you can just replace with the good ones. What are the health benefits of consuming EDTA? EDTA basically just binds uh, metals, some good, some bad in the body. When you consume EDTA, only about 10% is absorbed. Theoretically, you take it because it helps chelate heavy metals, which we accumulate from, from li living life, basically. Uh, mercury, cadmium, arsenic, but it also chelates some of the good minerals in your body, uh, magnesium, zinc, a lot of the, the uh, uh, cofactors that are very important for making you healthy and make you feel good. So consuming EDTA can also have a downside. It can lower your blood pressure, it anticoagulates your blood sugar, it anticoagulates you to a certain extent. And so uh, overall, usually when people have heavy metal issues, uh, they either get IV chelation or green, 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 green. The more green you eat, that also helps chelate heavy metals. So you can eat lots of green. You avoid things that are full of mercury and arsenic as much as possible.